a and &B Marina in beautiful Key West has some of the best coastal dining in the world. These charming tiled stairs lead to the historic Florida Keys restaurants Berlin's and a and Lobster House. Belmar isn't quite as historic as these 70-year-old restaurants, but it is quickly gaining popularity as the premier fine dining restaurant in Key West. Perfect for anyone staying in Key West or docking and dining since it steps away from the water. Okay, to start, the atmosphere is top-notch. I love the open space, the feel, the coastal colors, and decor. There are sea views all over the place and even semi-private dining areas too. There's a great bar area and below Belmar is a more casual dining restaurant called White Tarpon. What did you get there? Is that Shirley a Temple. Shirley Temple? You love those, don't you? Can you tell the bartender it's the best drink I've ever had? Yes. Is that an old fashioned? Not really. What is I it? Know Do you know what it is? Uh, the smoked. Uh, it's the smoked Godfather. Like I said, it's one of our most famous popular drinks. It's the classic uh, bourbon drink, smoked, and they leave it on there for about a minute or two, and it gets okay. the smoky taste. And they do all of that, and it has the orange peel on it. My second favorite is the Mila Mule. It's like a Moscow Mule, but instead of the um, tequila, not the tequila, instead of the Tito's, it has limoncello, so it's like the mm. Italian. The and Amaretto, I Yeah, see. and the Amaretto. So good. They rinse it out, they like rinse the glass with it, and they toss it back out. So that's a good yeah. one, too. You're gonna get that? Another good one is the Rosini. It's like a little um, strawberry drink. And it has elderflower in it, so it's nice and flowery. I think I saw that. Good one, too. And if you're into grapefruit, the Greyhawk is pretty good. I think we saw that, too, in pictures. It's in the mall. Okay. Oh, but it's, so which is your favorite out of all of them? Smoke Godfather. Really? Yes. Mm, wow. Do you want to try it? Smoke Godfather and the meal. Can I taste it? It's bold. Wow. You look at that. Go for bold. Did you, yeah, did you see? It's like... It's like a um, sea urchin. It looks like a sea urchin. <laughs> and I, I just saw one oh, wow, a couple does. days ago. It's done on purpose. It is, it is really good. So he makes old fashions all the time. Okay. It's like his drink. And he said he approves. This is, but this is better than a straight up old fashioned. <laughs> Yeah. Smoke Godfather. Oh, because it has amaretto in it, so it makes it a little bit sweeter. Definitely That's adopting why I that. Like it. Wow. We love you. It's the same, same thing, but a, a little sweeter, little bit different taste. Like. Yeah, yeah, like it's sweeter. Like okay. But I can give you guys a few minutes. Um, the chef tell you about the um, the specials. Yeah. So they are a thirty ounce tomahawk, and it's build your own. What is a tomahawk? It is a huge steak. You know, on a huge bone. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 30 ounces is huge, so it's wow. a huge steak on the bone. So the tomahawk is just a tomahawk that is build your own, so the sides are endless. You can do shrimp, scallops, you can do a side of mushroom risotto, and it's build your own. Oh, oh, is that the mushroom soup? Okay. He wanted us to really try that. Oh, thank you. Wow. This soup is only has mushrooms in it and cream and nothing else. Like mushrooms and cream, all the taste comes from, from crazy mushroom. Bad. Really? Yes. And I love mushrooms. Well, <laughs> you're gonna really, really enjoy that. Okay. 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 Um, okay. What are the like most popular of your standard dishes? Okay. I would have to say the most popular is the chef special ricotta, mm. and the um, the fish tonight is black grouper, and it is Ooh. grouper season, so I would highly recommend that. Mm. It has the lemon butter caper sauce, um, the zucchini, it has orzo, and it's really, really good. 
Okay. I think another good one is the Vio Marsala. Um, it's our own little take on Vio Marsala. Yeah. It has mushrooms on it, so then again, you're gonna get like the right. mushrooms and rice. Yeah. Really delicious. Like, yeah. yeah. The okay. pork also is amazing. It's braised and it falls right off the bone. Wow. Um, the soup like a pesce has all, like soup of the sea, Italian soup of the sea. It has all the, all the soup in it. How do your handmade pastas? Which ones are most popular? Like, what is the best seller out of our handmade in-house pastas? because they all are super popular. They each have their own little niche. Um, I like the last four, the shrimp orchetti, it's like the, past, um, the pesto, and it's okay. really light, and mm. it's not too over overwhelming. Okay. Uh, the veal bolognese has to be my favorite. Really? The chef okay. always says, are you ever gonna get something else? Really? Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then linguine and clams is good. If you would like a seafood pasta, it's like the nice, um, light, creamy, buttery sauce. It okay. has the clams, the little neck clams. And then I'm literally turning over to this one lately. The Papa Deli Capri, it's Key West Pink Strips, and the sauce is crushed tomatoes, and has the buffalo mozzarella and a lemon zesty. Okay. That is really good. I would come back for this like every day if I could. If I lived here. It is really good. How's that soup, Savannah? This mule is probably the best mule I've had. Um, not only does it look so beautiful, but it is super delicious. Really enjoying it. It's stormy. On second thought, I don't think we're going to go to the pool. I don't think we're going to go to the pool either. What do you think, Ethan? This is the Greyhound. Before I taste this, this risotto appetizer, I could just literally eat the mushroom sauce. It is so good. I do love that. Um, and this is the Greyhound specialty drink. That's really good. I like grapefruit. Um, I was a little worried because I don't like grapefruit drinks so much. I just like regular. It's so good. It's so good. I can't even. I want you to try it, Jack. That's really good. It's refreshing. Don't even know you're drinking. No, it doesn't even taste like alcohol, does it? I just tasted the like lettuce part. I haven't even tasted the tenderloin. I don't know. Is that kale? Or a rocket, arugula, I don't know, but I think it's like a kale. I'm gonna taste this though. My husband said it's phenomenal, so. It's like butter. And the seasoning is perfect, like really salty, like that I. I love, um, I really love that. I just figured out what the salad like this kind of like reminds me of. Okay, when we were in Italy on our honeymoon, we went to Pompeii and we were so starving after Pompeii, which um, Herculaneum is like the town around Pompeii. And we stopped somewhere, which it's all locals. It's like a family, it was kind of embarrassing. I don't know, they were looking at us weird, but they knew we were tourists. I had the best salad of my life there. It was um, greens and then literally just salt and olive oil. And that's what this salad on this appetizer reminds me of because it is like simple but so pure like that. Does, do you, you remember that salad, John? Absolutely. Yeah. And it, it kind of changed the way I ate whenever I got home because I would try to replicate that but I just never could. So that is really good.
It goes crab, scallop, That is like huge. He just had an out of body experience with the Holy scallop. mackerel. I cannot believe how huge that is. You're gonna let is. your son order that, by the way. I was gonna let him order that because I'm crazy. Wild. That is huge. I can't wait to taste that. Isn't that scallop, Dad? Isn't that scallop good? It was just, it melted in your, you don't even need to chew it. Isn't it so good, Ethan? <laughs> five star. Five star. One hundred percent. It's just the best grouper I think I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Did you taste that yet, John? But it's cooked to perfection, I can already tell. Here, buddy, you want to try a piece of paper? You want to try a piece of fish? There's never been a place. So glad to be a carnivore. I have fettuccine like alfredo with chicken. And what do you think of it? 10,000 star. <laughs> it is, this is a lobster scampi. Um, but I had mine on noodles because I wanted to taste the homemade noodles. Okay, we're debating whose is better because nobody believes me that I think that mine is the best even though I've only tasted one other thing that I just already know. It's so delicious, this scampi. So he has the pork belly and scallops and this is lobster scampi and let's see. No, yours is the best. No. <laughs> it is so, it is so good. And the pasta is definitely homemade. You can tell it is homemade. You, here, John, yeah, no, well, wait, this? this is, this is why mine's better. Yeah, well, why is yours better? Sorry. Look at the, look at the knife. Okay, let's see. I'm barely let's see. down. Okay. Is that a scallop or is it? Oh, that is a, that's the pork. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. It melts in your mouth. That's pretty good. But I really like this. I don't know if anything can be better than this. That's the best. What, the scampi? Yeah, that's the best. That's the so good. That is Did you taste his scallops? Oh, what's your vote? The, the lobster scampi is just off the chart good. But the scallop <laughs> it what? is butter on its own. It is banal. So, Nate, we're totally blown away. You said this restaurant's only about three months old? Three and a half months old. Three and a half, four months. So when we came here, already our Uber driver was saying that it's like one of the best. And our food is phenomenal. I think the shrimp scampi is the best. What what do you hear from your customers that they like the best? Ooh, we have a lot of favorites, yeah. I think the veal marsala, obviously our special, we have the uh, tomahawk. Does that change daily or does it stay for like a few days? It's delicious. That That is a huge showstopper. Like if you really want, you know, something special, right? Now we have the veal marsala, we have the shrimp marsala. We have our veal chop. Okay. Bolognese is another favorite. Okay. At first you didn't want to think you like it. You like those mashed potatoes? That's the best mush and mashed potatoes I've ever had. <laughs> it like does taste like just like delicious, delicious butter. I can't believe butter. how much butter they probably put in that. Yes. So Amelia, out of mom's lobster, my scallops, which one is better? Even. I think Ethan's had the best plate. You think what? I think Ethan had the best plate. Really? I liked my lobster the best. I like my lobster scampi the best. Top, the flavor combination, top notch. Wow. Amelia, you like those mashed potatoes, don't you? I am just super impressed with this place. I liked everything. I think everyone here It's the best. Every dish they had, and we're about to get dessert, so let's see how that is. Um, I think it's the 
sea salt crusted caramel gelato is kind of uh, what a couple of us are going to get. So I'll show here in a second. You better come to Key West. The best mixologist in Key West heads the bar at Belmar, and it's definitely noticeable with the uniquely crafted drinks here. This Greyhound was absolutely delightful. Not only was it light and flavorful, the rosemary added a special something that really put it over the top. This smoked godfather with bourbon, amaretto, and a wood smoke glass really was a showstopper. This Milan mule had an amaretto rinse on the glass, limoncello, and rosemary. It was gone so quick, I could barely get a picture of it. Okay, this drink here is so delicious, I had to highlight it on its own. It is the Rosini. It's a Prosecco with a strawberry puree and an ender berry liqueur. It is just so good. The owners brought in a top U.S. chef to construct the entire menu for Belmar, and it shows. Chef Shane really blew this entire menu out of the water. This carne cruda blew me away with its simplicity and deliciousness. And I could eat this porcini mushroom sauce that comes with these risotto balls on pretty much anything. This tomato caprese has homemade mozzarella that might be the best mozzarella I've ever had in my life. And this mushroom soup, it speaks for itself. The choices for entrees, specialty seafood items, and homemade pasta was so vast it was hard to decide what to get, but every item blew us away. The scallops and pork belly cannot be beat. This 30 ounce tomahawk steak was amazing and looks just so beautiful, doesn't it? I personally think my lobster scampi was the best. It had huge chunks of lobster in it and was just so delicious with the pasta. And this chef's piccata with grouper was absolutely delightful. Tiramisu. And I couldn't even get pictures fast enough of this salt crusted sea caramel gelato. It already had bites out of it. Thank you for joining me today for this review of Belle Mar. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what item you think looks best and if you've ever eaten here. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Until next time, bye!